Hi, I'm Ali from ahunt.co.uk. This video, I'm going to show you the new Plex redesign and how to get it on Android TV. There hasn't been a substantial update for Plex for Android TV for a long time now, so I'm glad this is finally happening. The new redesign is called UNO, which stands for the Unified Experience, which means you'll get the same experience on every platform. So to get it, first what you have to do is follow the link at the end of the video and then fill out the registration form and then you'll need to enter the beta. So become a tester. Once you've done that, the update will be waiting for you in the Google Play Store on your Android TV. Once Plex is updated, go into Plex and then go into the settings of Plex. And then what you'll need to do is turn on the Uno UI. Plex will then restart and then take you to the setup page for the new UI. So here you can customize everything you want to see on the home screen. All right, so now you've got the update. So what else can you do? You can pin multiple servers to the home screen. So here I've got a few servers that I have access to. And now what I can do is have them all in one place on the home screen. You couldn't do that ever before. It was so annoying. You had to go up into the server section, then choose the server you wanted to connect to and then find the film. But now you've got it all in one beautiful list, which is great. Why didn't they do this before? And there you have it. You've got the redesigned Plex home screen. So at the minute, all they've redesigned is the home screen. So they're going to slowly iterate the update. So for now you have this and then everything else will change. So for instance, the list that you go through when you're viewing your films will all change in the future. Also the player itself will change as well. So for instance, if I go into this film called Us, you'll see the screen is the same old screen that you're used to. Now if I play the film, same old screen that you're used to. So of course this is still a beta, but what we're seeing here now is really promising and it looks like Plex is taking a step in the right direction. Now hopefully when the redesign is fully rolled out, some of the major bugs will be fixed as well. For instance, when you resume a film, it takes forever and ever to load and sometimes doesn't even load at all. Now the last feature I want to show you is something called Reduce Motion. This will speed up the performance of the app if you're running it on a slow Android TV. For instance, the Nexus player will probably need that. All right, I kept this nice and short for you. So if you want to get the new Plex update, click on the link here. And if you found this video useful, make sure you like it and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Take it easy.